quarter past eight and uh, I'm still in the train. And I'm sorry, I know this is really shaky, but it is really shaky in this train. Hello from one of the main stations here in my hometown of Hamburg, Germany. Today, or tonight, I'm going to be taking the night train. I just took off my mask and you can see the line here on my face. I'm on my way to my first ever river cruise. You all know I've done a ton of ocean cruises. This is gonna be the first time I've ever done a so-called river cruise. And it starts here in Germany in the city of Passau. And there's no really easy way to fly down there and taking the train is so easy. But because of the times, I didn't want to take the train in the day tomorrow. So I decided to take the night train and I'm actually gonna sleep on this train tonight. This is not a train from Deutsche Bahn. It's from the Austrian company, UBB, and it's called the Nightjet. By the way, this train behind me is just pulling out right now. Bye-bye train. And check out my new suitcase. I just bought this today. I asked you all on Instagram if you prefer hard-sided suitcases or soft-sided suitcases, and it was like almost a 50-50 tie, so apparently, some people prefer one, some people prefer the other. It doesn't seem like there's a better choice. There goes the train. This is so-called ICE from Deutsche Bahn, the German company. And like I said, this is the night jet from the Austrian company that I'm gonna be traveling with tonight. Here's my ticket that you have to buy in advance if you wanna be guaranteed a bed, like someplace to lay down. And you can see it's train 491, that's what Z-U-G means, Zug 491. N-G stands for night jet and J. And then Wagen means car 262. And Liegeplatz means like laying down place number 91. And I'm on the bottom. That's what Unten means. The whole journey is going to take, yeah, it go, It starts at 10 past 8 this evening and finishes at 6.13 in the morning tomorrow. And it costs me 92 euros. So much cheaper than flying and also well, cheaper than taking the train and renting a hotel. Anyways, let's look inside. You can definitely get into the train in the car that's not yours and you can walk through the whole train, but it's more convenient to enter in the car where, you're, where your place is. So you can see this is 263. I have 262, right? Yeah and that should be this one. So this is where we're gonna go inside. And by the way, did I tell you, you can also take your car on this train? Yep, they have several carriages that are for automobiles and motorcycles. So you just drive your car right through the station and directly up onto the train. That's weird. So here we are inside. You can see this is how you know which place is in which cabin here. It's a little bit more modern than the Hogwarts Express, but very similar principle. I'm looking for 91, so... <laughs> Somebody's done some handwritten notes here. 82, oh, I'm all the way here at the end. Well, all right, 91. So I'm pretty sure that must be 91. What kind of animal is that up there at the top? Is that a jackalope? <laughs> All right, there's four bunks in here. These are the two top bunks. These are the bottom bunks, and you can choose when you're booking. You can make a request if you'd rather be on the top bunk or the bottom bunk. I chose no preference and ended up on the bottom. I have no idea if there are going to be other people sleeping in here or who they're going to be. You can't uh, really, unless you're traveling with other people, you can't really make a decision about that. However, you can, uh, if you book early enough, you can get a whole thing to yourself, or they also have like single bed cabins as well. And they also have women only cabins and everything else is mixed. So we'll have to see who else shows up, if anybody. And I'm not sure where to put my bag. Usually there's spaces like towards the end of the train. I don't think it's gonna fit underneath there. We'll find out. Let's turn on the light here. Oh, that's a cute little light. <laughs> Very helpful. 
I just wanted to show you that this is the little pillow that comes with it. Here is a freshly pressed sheet and then a little blanket here. I'm a little bit concerned because it looks like whoever sat on here yesterday or this morning was eating some chips and I don't think that this has really been cleaned that well. But I guess if I don't see anything crawling around, I shouldn't worry too much. <laughs> right? And I'm really early, so let's look at some other things here. This is, yeah, that's for employees only. This must be one of the bathrooms. Oh, well, this is just a wash up room. There must be a bathroom around the corner here. Here. So it's bigger than bigger than uh, an airplane bathroom, that's for sure. Clean, clean enough. And of course, a Morgan approved bathroom door. This little place is where you can hang your bicycles too. So I guess a lot of people take their bikes with them. Bikes, motorcycles, cars, you can take it all with. This train actually goes all the way down to Vienna and Vienna is one of the places I'm gonna be stopping on the river cruise. <laughs> so it's interesting that I'm getting out earlier and then gonna end up in Vienna anyways, but I'm here for the cruise and not for the night train, you know what I mean? Although I will enjoy seeing Vienna and showing it to you as well. And like I said, there, there most likely will be other people in here with me. I don't know who they are yet. They could be uh, joining the train or you know, how do you say that? Entering the train here in Hamburg. Uh, we're stopping at six or seven cities before I exit the train. So no idea when they're gonna be coming in. Maybe they won't be boarding the train until the middle of the night. I don't. I don't know. There is a possibility to get some tasty bites and also some things to drink. Usually you can go to the restaurant car, but I think at the moment they're discouraging people from eating in the restaurant car. So you order it and either take it back here to your little cabin or I think they bring it to you. I think I remember reading that, I'm not sure. But also here in, in the cabin we have four cute little bottles of water and oh yeah, and it says here, Place your order with the steward or stewardess. And here's the menu. Should we take a look at it? Uh, let me see, how can I make it so you guys can see it good? They have bread. They have paprika chicken casserole. They've got chili sin carne, ooh. Vegetable ravioli and tomato sauce. So, you know, I'm not gonna just read the whole thing for you here, but it does look like they have some interesting things uh, especially vegetarian things as well. And the prices are okay. Six euros 90, that's about $8 for vegetable ravioli and tomato sauce. And they have like snacks here, like candy bars and mmm, Pringles. Pringles. Also hot drinks, alcohol free drinks. What kind of beer and wine do they have here? All right, I might have a beer before bed. Oh, they also have Absolute, Jägermeister, and some kind of, uh, yeah, another kind of brandy, I guess. What's on the back here? Red Bull, travel kit, all kinds of good stuff you can get in here. And uh, what's this? Okay, this is the COVID, uh, um, stuff about COVID, is it in English too? Yeah. Staying safe through the night during the COVID-19 pandemic. By the way, in case I didn't tell you all this yet, I have been fully vaccinated. I got it done a couple weeks ago when I was in Minnesota. I got Johnson & Johnson, one shot, everything was fine. I didn't have a lot of side effects. The only thing that happened was my penis fell off. But other than that, nothing. By the way, the fact that I'm sitting here in the train for so long and it's so empty and not moving is not common. The only reason that this is like this right now is because this is the first stop of the train. The train is starting here tonight. If you're traveling by train through Europe and you're getting onto the train or getting off of the train someplace in the middle of the journey, be ready because that train is not going to wait for you. So I'm here. I, I'm like 25 minutes early on this train. That's why nobody's here yet. And that's why I have all this time. We are just about to train away. I was going to say sail away, but obviously not yet. And I asked uh, the stewardess where I put my bag and she said it goes 
up there. So somehow I have to hoist it up there. Good thing I'm young and healthy. And the suitcase isn't really that heavy. These are the normal like seating area. So you can also, if you have a really small budget, you can also just book one of these places for the night. And if you get lucky, I mean, you might've gotten a place here and then just, you know, have this whole thing. And I think that these arms, yeah. I mean, that's not really comfortable to lay on, but it's cheap, you know? And I got lucky with my cabin mates. It is actually a family. It's supposed to be the mom and the dad and then the two young kids. But the mom and the son got stuck in another train, the complicated situation. And so it's just the dad and the daughter. So we're actually only like two and a half people in this cabin and they seem really cool. So nothing to worry about. Actually, what time is it? It's quarter past eight and uh, I'm still on the train. And I'm sorry, I know this is really shaky, but it is really shaky in this train. I'm still in the train because we're about two hours delayed. Something happened in the night. We had to wait for a connecting train out of Amsterdam, I think, is what I understood. And so we stopped uh, at one station and just, and just were parked there for like two hours. Sorry, I, I know it's like morning. I'm not pretty. Sorry about the interruption. I popped back here into one of the other um, little rooms, the cabins, because my cabin mates came back and also the stewardess came and brought me my breakfast. It was a nice little continental breakfast. Um, there, there are no options. I mean, that's what you get. And usually it's something a little bit different, but the catering company that usually works with the train is in the city further down the stretch and we're not there yet so they had to improvise and buy from a different catering company in a different city so if you are taking this train don't be disappointed if yours looks a little bit differently i'm just looking outside here and it's nice and foggy check this out this is very rural area here in southern germany looks a lot like wisconsin if you ask me <laughs> a lot of areas in wisconsin and minnesota look like this so we're actually almost three hours late now, which is really bad for other people who are trying to get to something uh, uh, something important or maybe miss some other connections. But for me, it works out really well just because I didn't know what I was gonna do in Passau at six o'clock in the morning. And now I won't be getting in there until after nine. So other things are gonna be open, you know, coffee shops and cafes will be open. There's gonna be, it'll be easier to pass the time getting the, you know, with like these three hours being on the train instead of walking around the city with nothing to do. So as you can see, it's shortly past nine now. And actually that's almost exactly three hours late. There's a train I just disembarked. And down that way is the city of Passau. And yeah, now I've got, let's see, nine, I've got <laughs> six hours until I can board the ship and I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. Passau is not a big enough city that it's gonna have a hop on hop off bus tour, you know, like a lot of major cities do. There's museums and churches to see. And I did a little bit of research. I just haven't decided exactly yet what I'm gonna see, but I'm gonna take a little break from talking to you. And the next thing you're gonna see in the next video, oh, it's bright here. The sun is at a very uncomfortable angle for filming. The next thing you're gonna see is me boarding the Who's Prestige River Cruise, the very first time that I've ever been on a river cruise boat. So if you want to see that video, make sure you're subscribed. YouTube has been unsubscribing people again lately, so make sure that you are still subscribed if you have been subscribed. If you're not already, subscribe. And in the next video, we're going to be boarding the ship. See you there. 
really far away. is a swimming pool. I've done so much walking on this cruise. <laughs> and we drank that entire bottle of schnapps. <laughs>